Hey yo, what's good y'all? It's your boy Jay Kama back with another video and this is the life of Jay Kama. So I basically just wanted to give you guys an update on my 7th day juice cleanse. Today is actually day 5 and I ran out of veggies and I ran out of fruit. So I told my dad, dad let's go to Whole Foods and let's go do a quick pickup on a couple of things. So as I'm near Whole Foods, I'm not going to lie, I started to get hungry. <laughs> I'm walking through all these aisles, I'm walking through the hot bar, and I'm seeing all this food, and it's not making it any easier for me on my cleanse. But I kept, kept telling myself, mind over matter, Jay, mind over matter. So I'm just walking through the aisles and stuff like that. My dad wanted to grab a couple of extra things for him because he's not on the cleanse and he wanted to cook a couple of other things. So we're just walking through the aisles and stuff. And I'm not going to lie to you guys. It was a hell of a roller coaster on my cleanse. Day one, it was kind of rough for me. I was feeling like a little bit of dizziness and a little bit of fatigueness. Day two, it was the same thing. And after day one, I didn't eliminate at all, guys. It was just one elimination process. And then after that, I felt a bit, I felt a bit constipated through the whole process. But it came and went, it came and went. So today, I decided to just not drink juice, but to throw a little bit of fiber in my in my cleanse so I grab some strawberries some berries and things like that just to mix it up a little bit and all that but day three day three I started to feel somewhat healed somewhat healed on some of the things that I usually go through on a day-to-day -day base as far as my anxiety I started to feel like it was just draining leaving my body um, I usually get like these little twitches in my finger and that was completely gone, you know? And um, it was just a lot of things that I experienced, symptoms and things like that, that just vanished out of my whole body. And day four and day five, my hunger was like neutralized. I didn't feel hungry anymore. I didn't feel fatigue anymore. I didn't feel weak anymore. I didn't feel headaches. I didn't feel anything. It was just like my body and my mind accepted the whole cleanse that I was going through, you know? And I would recommend it to anybody out there that's trying to lose weight, that's trying to get in tune with themselves on a spiritual level, and just overall everything like that has to do with health. I recommend a seven day cleanse. And honestly, the seven day cleanse was just the beginning. I usually fast for one day out of the week a lot, on and off, but this seven day cleanse was just unbelievable. At first I thought I couldn't do it, but mind over matter guys, mind over matter. So yeah, when I got home, I pulled out all my fruits, down my apples, my berries, blueberries, strawberries, and I got to work, you know. I started rinsing them down and getting ready for a smoothie because, like I said, I felt like I didn't give myself enough fiber through the whole process. So I felt like that was the reason that I felt a bit constipated. So I wanted, like, some fiber, you know, when you juice and you just extract the juice, all of the peel you know, it gets eliminated and um, it gets detached from the fruits. So there's no fiber in, in the juices and sometimes you need a little bit of fiber. So I decided to, you know, drink a smoothie and all of that. It was good, it did me good, it filled me up, I'm not gonna lie. I also got myself like some ginger some oranges. Oranges is like my favorite juice to drink with ginger. So I read up on that. And I read up on apples like you see on the screen. You see my dad back there. He was pulling garlic there. He ain't making no easier for me through this whole process. 
being that he's always cooking. So while I'm in the crib and he got the crib smelling like good food, I used to always like try to avoid him through the whole process and leave the house when he's cooking or go to, you know, go to the gym or, you know, or take a walk or go to the, go to the back. I really didn't go to the gym as much. I only went to the gym maybe once or twice because, you know, I felt like I was depleting myself from all the electrolytes that I usually put inside my body on a daily basis. And I didn't want to kind of like overdo it. So I was just staying around the house, doing push-ups, you know, maybe take a walk, you know, do some pull-ups, do some crutches or simply meditate and things like that. But yeah, it was just overall good experience and a good process. And I would recommend it to anybody that's trying to get in tune with their inner self on a spiritual level. And it's just, you know, it's good for you, man. It's, it's just so many benefits about it. Like, you're going to lose weight at least one to three pounds a week. Um, by the end, by day five, which was today, I lost about a pound and a half a day to a pound. I, um, I was maybe 169 when I started. By day five, I was like 164, 63 around there. So if you're trying to get on the cleanse for that purpose, I would give it a go. You know, you're definitely going to lose weight. And if you're trying to do it just on a spiritual level, I will also give it a go. Like I said, it just, it made me feel like I had total control of myself by not giving in to my hunger it just made me feel like like I was in total control of everything the whole situation the whole process and starvation and fasting are two different things a lot of people say well you know I don't want to starve myself but starving is when you have no food around you know you're not in control and fasting is when you have food around, which puts you in control. So yeah, at the moment now on the screen, I did mix in a little bit of cashew milk into my smoothie, which is my favorite to use. By the way, yeah, that's a it's a course pretty expensive at Whole Foods, but yeah, all good things for the body nowadays are expensive and pricey, but back to my seven day cleanse it was just remarkable and at times I wanted to give in there was times where I, I didn't want to do it anymore and my dad was seeing it in my face and like I said he wasn't making it any easier at all you know I was I started with maybe a half a gallon 64 ounces I, I, I want to say a day and then I was boosting it up gradually, little by little, because like the deeper I got into the cleanse, the more hungry I, I felt until the end. So I went from two liters to three liters and then to four liters of juice. But at the same time, I was also drinking a lot of water. And I want to say that if you have like a job or something like that, or you work, I don't think it's a good idea you do it unless you have like a toilet right there or you're just gonna go outside in the street somewhere because it made me go to the bathroom a lot. Not as far as eliminating because I'm on a plant-based vegan diet and I usually go one to three times a day. So there wasn't really much in my system to eliminate I want to say so like after day one I stopped eliminating I didn't feel the urge to go at all but then I kind of did and I wouldn't go so it was kind of weird I don't know how to explain it you know it made me a little constipated but then after a while it just went away you know 
there you go. That apple juice, that good old apple juice, guys. That thing right there will give you a boost. Be careful with that. I like to put a little bit of water in it. Yeah, and that is so much sugar, but yeah, right now on the screen, guys, this was a moment where I felt like I couldn't take it anymore. I had to like meditate on certain times of the day all day sometimes I would wake up hungry and I would meditate after I drink my juice because it made me feel like I was well I felt still hungry with hunger after my juices so I did do a lot of meditation and a lot of reflecting on my life and reflecting on the way that I took control of the situation this was basically it's all about about control, controlling yourself, controlling your urges, and controlling your your actions and controlling your hunger. But most of all, controlling your urges. And once you master that in life, I think you can master anything. Once you control what goes into your system, I don't think that there's one thing on this earth that you can't control. But yeah, there was a whole lot of meditation going on. There was a whole lot of reflecting going on. And after a while, my stomach just stopped talking to me. It was at a point where every day my stomach would grumble and grumble. And my body was saying, you know, asking me like, what's going on? Why aren't you feeding us, you know? and. It got to a point where it stopped talking to me because it got molded into not eating and everything. I even started to get like a runny nose when I started to drink certain juices that I put ginger in it. And I guess that that was my body throwing out all the mucus out of my system. I did feel a little bit of contractions in my stomach here or there. I don't know if that was maybe, you know, my stomach tightening up, closing on me, or my colon tightening up, but I'm just so happy that I did give my colon a break for seven days, something that I've never done before, and I'm proud of myself, so proud of myself. And yeah, I, like I said, I kept my workouts to a minimum, I did push-ups, pull-ups, I took walks, I did sit-ups, I did some reading at night before I went to bed, more research, and I would love for any of you guys that are, you know, want to take the step to do a cleanse, to do it. I recommend it, and I wouldn't recommend a long fast just yet. This is seven days if you haven't experienced what a fast for 24 hours is. But I would recommend you jump from one day, three days, seven days. And there's people that do it for 100 days. But that's my update on day five of my seven day cleanse. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll be back with another video.